Jennifer and the rest of our weather team has been tracking the storm for days now. And Jacqueline, what's the latest? Yeah, it's definitely not a good update from the National Hurricane Center at this hour. We are watching as it's strengthening right now. And as it approaches central Cuba and prepares for that landfall, there's a chance that it could be at or near hurricane status. So that's why they've issued some watches and warnings. Although the official forecast is 70 miles an hour for those peak winds, they're saying that there is a small chance that it could get up to that 74 mark that would make it a category one hurricane again. And that's why they have those watches and warnings in effect for parts of Cuba. They're expecting that landfall to happen tomorrow. After that, of course, all eyes will be on Florida. You see how many different model ideas we have for where exactly in Florida that does make landfall. Although at this point, it does look like we're recounting out areas like Miami, and that's just for the central core of the storm, though. They could feel impacts all the way out to Miami in terms of rainfall and those strong winds. I wanted to show you what's going to happen over the next few hours. Here's a look at Elsa by 5 p.m. on Wednesday. We're watching as it kind of hugs the coastline there through Georgia, through the Carolinas as well. And you'll notice that most of the action, at least the wet weather action, is to the east of the core of the storm. It continues doing that through Thursday into Friday as well. Here's a look at 4.30 a.m. on Friday, where at this point, the GFS model, which is a model that we use here often to forecast our weather and what the Hurricane Center is saying is one of the best resources for this storm. It's been doing a really good job of handling it. That's where it's saying that it'll put off Elsa as it heads back out to the Atlantic. Now, I'll tell you, that there's still a chance that we end up with some of this moisture here. There's a chance that the core of what will be a tropical storm still at that point ends up somewhere in the Carolinas. And if that happens, we could end up with some torrential rain and we could also end up with those very damaging winds. Tropical storms are 39 miles an hour for those winds and higher. And even outside of that core of circulation, you get some strong gusty winds. So that'll be a main thing to watch here as we're going through the next few days where exactly the core of that storm lands. Other than that, though, we've got a few rain chances late in the week, Thursday and Friday looking to be the wettest days. Tomorrow, still dry. Temperatures getting to the low 90s. Humidity staying away for now, not for much longer. So enjoy that while it lasts. As we start off the day, we start off with sun, but clouds increase throughout the day. In the foothills, pretty similar story there. Temperatures get to the upper 80s. Stays dry for the day tomorrow. We got some clouds as we head into the afternoon, but a sunny start. And then in the mountains, very comfortable. Temperatures in the low 80s there. And again, humidity staying pretty low, so it won't feel like much warmer than the 80s. In fact, it'll feel pretty comfortable. As we head through the day, we've got a mixture of clouds and sun, but mostly sun. A lot of folks have the day off tomorrow, so if you wanted to head up to the mountains and get a hike in, I think it'll be a really nice day to do so. Or if you wanted to head to the pool, you'll need to prepare for that heat. And I also want to tell you that you'll need to have that sunblock on and keep it with you by the pool because we're expecting UV index to be very high once more. But other than that, a warmer day tomorrow, feeling really nice ahead of the return of humidity on Tuesday. That's when we'll be in the low 90s, but it'll feel like the mid 90s. Here's your seven day forecast. By Wednesday, we start to get those rain chances in. Thursday, some of that tropical moisture with a high rain chance leading to an impact day, which means that the weather could impact your day on Thursday. But at this point, looking like Friday, Saturday and Sunday, some lower rain chances. Of course, the end of the week, very much subject to change as Elsa carves out that path towards the continental United States. Dueling contest to crown the fastest eaters to the speedy hot dog eaters.